Friends, an IPO or an initial public offering is the very first sale of stock issued by a company to the public. Now, prior to an IPO, the company is considered to be private and with a relatively small number of shareholders made primarily of its early investors. Basically, the selling of IPO by a company also means that the company is going public. While raising an IPO, companies not only make money for themselves, but at many instances for the people who have opted for the same. Here in this video, I shall show you how to place an order for an IPO using ICICI Direct's app interface. Now, once you are logged in, this is the screen that you should get. Once you're on this screen, then for buying an IPO, as you can clearly see that on the fourth row, the third option is mentioned as IPO. You can click out here. Once you've clicked out here, again, you can see various options. There is place order, order book, PG transaction, allot, allocate flip funds, limit, demat allocation, my message, form 15G, form 18H, 15H. Now you can click on the first option that is place order. On clicking place order, you'll get an interface like this in which the various IPOs would be listed. Now out here at the time at which I'm making this video, there is no current initial public offering or fresh issuance of stock mentioned uh, provided in the market right now. So you can see that Baba Arts Limited, but we can take the example. So let's take the example of Baba Arts Limited. So out here it's mentioned buyback. Had it been an IPO, it would have been mentioned out here. Fixed can be mentioned. There would be a minimum quantity that you would have had to buy. There would be quantity multiples. The and the price band or floor price. Now let's take an example. Say you were buying or buy you, uh, a company named IB, ABC was allotting a fresh issuance of IPO. Now, in that case, ABC would have been mentioned out here in the PDF file out here at the top of ABC. The details of the organization would have been given. The minimum quantity that you, you have had to buy would be mentioned out here, say 50 shares. And the quantity multiples would again be, say, 50. So that would mean that you can buy 50 or 100 or 150 shares. You cannot buy uh, any amount, any random amount that you want, say, like 72 shares in that case. The price of each share would be mentioned out here. The start date at which the IPO was issued and the end date of the IPO issuance would be mentioned out here. Finally, you can just click on apply now after looking at all these values. Once you would have clicked on apply now, then in the next page, you would have been allowed to uh, enter the offered quantity. Again, like I said, this would have been in the multiples of the number that was mentioned in the previous page. You could have uh, written the price or maybe it would have got auto populated. And finally, you could have just submitted the order. You could have either selected again, a location or net banking. So either way, what happens in the issuance of an IPO is that your amount gets blocked in your bank account, your integrated bank account. So unless and until whether it is the decision that you would be issued the uh, IPO, the shares, or whether you have not been issued the shares, that amount would, be, would remain blocked for that period of time. So that's it, friends. Remember, uh, placing an IPO order does not mean that you have been allotted the shares. It is on various rules and parameters that that is decided who should be allotted the same amongst the numerous people who have applied for the IPO. Once you have been allotted the IPO, you can see the same in your demat account. Either way, whether you allotted an IPO or not, you shall be informed on the same through email. I hope this video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching.